It's another day, it's another time for some big brain games. So let's see what is gonna be the first one. Map game. Oh, that's a good one. I always enjoy some map game. Uh, so let's start. What are the hints? It's smaller in total area than uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, that's a pretty big country in the first place. So it doesn't eliminate too many countries, let's say. Let's go something like uh, Sudan. Poland? Okay, let's go Poland. It is in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, Egypt. No, it's north of Venezuela. Well, it doesn't have to be strictly north, just like with the north, like above. Not directly above, but more, more north, I think would be more precise. Portugal. Capital's name starts with P. Capital's name... Okay, whose capital's name starts with P? P, 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 P. Um, uh, Panama? Puerto Rico would not be a con... Oh, no, Puerto Rico actually is an option here. And Kosovo? I was actually thinking Panama as well. Wait, but it's not really... N it's debatable, would it be north of... Haiti? Wait, what was Haiti's capital city? It was Port something? Oh, France could work? Yeah, France. Well, let's go... Let's go Montenegro. No. Capital is Port-au-Prince. Oh, it is Haiti. Nice, Gigi's Ryan with a Haiti guess. Well done. Well, that was kind of a giveaway, giveaway not really a hint. Oh, this is the capital. But okay, let's do another practice one. I really like map game. Uh, its name starts with A. Um, Algeria. Its population is more than one million. Uh, Angola? It's smaller than Cameroon. Smaller than Cameroon. Albania? No. Smaller than Afghanistan. What else starts with A? O o Austria, Azerbaijan... Ooh, those are all good. Let's go Austria. It is Austria! Nice! Let's go, let's go. Good job! Alright, what is next? The map game is one of my favorite games out there, for sure. Where taken? Ooh, okay. Where taken? So where is this photo taken at? These blue and white colors really giving me Greek vibes. Maybe Cyprus. I could see this being Cyprus, maybe. Greece, Cyprus would be my main guesses here. Definitely feels very Mediterranean, and these blue and white colors are dragging me towards that area. Yeah, okay, let's try. Let's start with Greece. Um, if it's not Greece, then maybe Cyprus or something. Southwest of Greece. Wait, what? Cyprus would be southeast. Uh, Malta. Malta? I mean, Malta would make sense. I mean, what else could this be? I think Malta is the next logical guess here. And if it isn't, we'll get a direction. It is Malta. Okay, it is Malta. Good job. Corsica. I'm not sure if Corsica is a separate... I think Corsica probably is, counts as part of France here. And so the France would have been kind of northwest instead. I would assume. I'm not sure exactly how they count these directions here. Okay, which landmark is in Malta? Well, this one would be in Botswana, I imagine. This one is a massive castle that was in Canada, I believe, right? Was it Quebec? And this one is somewhere. I do not recognize this one. But surely this is in Malta. Some tunnels. Uh, 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 uh. Catacombs. Yeah, St. Paul's Catacombs. What is the capital city of Malta? Valet no, Valencia, Valletta. Stonehenge. I mean, could have been Stonehenge. And uh, Valletta is... Is it here or here? I feel like it's always more north than I think it is. No, okay, it's just that one. Never mind. It wasn't, a, no, wasn't more north than I thought it was. Which city in Malta was this photo taken in? Just probably just Valletta? Looks like a pretty big city. Probably just Valletta, no? No, shoot. Okay, it's not Valletta. 
some sort of a cathedral here. What is a castle? A bar? Well, whichever this is, this is a big city. Silema Senglea Victoria Medina Virgu. Medina, maybe? I'm, I was also thinking Medina. Victoria? Silema? Medina? I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like Medina is a pretty small one, no? But uh, maybe? I was Victoria. Should have gone with, with Victoria. Uh, Medina was the one that like was south, kind of southish, southwest from Valletta. No, Medina was. Where was Medina? I thought it was somewhere here. Ah, here is Medina. Yeah, Medina is really small. Oh, but there is oh there is Saint Paul's Cathedral in Medina. So I guess those catacombs were in Medina. But yeah, Medina is quite small. Uh, where is Victoria? Victoria, oh, yeah, Victoria was up here. Okay. I guess Victoria is the second largest city, I would guess. Where is Silema? Oh, Silema was... Oh, Sil maybe Silema is... Wait, what? Okay, wait. Valletta isn't even the biggest city in Malta, was it? Let's, let's do a quick investigation. Largest population cities in Malta. St. Paul's Bay. Oh, okay, St. Paul's Bay is the biggest population. Oh, it's Sliema. Sliema, not Silema. Oh, my bad. It's, yeah, it's Sliema. Ten largest cities in Malta. So, St. Paul's Bay is first Birkirkara. What? Birkirkara. Bir Where is that? Birkirkara. Where even is that? Birkirkara. Oh, yeah, there. It shows up for a second. Birkirkara. Well, this look pretty big, huh? Birkirkara Mosta. Where is Mosta? Mosta. What are these cities that I've never heard of? Mosta. Oh, there is Mosta. I guess that they're all very, like, size-wise, very close to each other, like a few thousands here and there. And yeah, the borders, I imagine, are also very kind of, like, fluid. So, yeah. Victoria isn't even on top 10, uh, top 12 here, according to this list. And so, neither is Valletta, so, yeah. Well, interesting. But, but the biggest one, yeah, it's St. Paul's Bay, so that might be worth remembering. Uh, Malta is like a big city with uh, some gaps between the districts. Time Guesser. Uh, let's, let's do Time Guesser, that's a great one. Let's try to be fast with it, so it doesn't take too long. What is this? This, this? Was this like a French guy? Or am I crazy? I, mean, I see his face and I think, oh, French. Was he like a French politician? Velib. What does it say here? Mm, something grins all over the world. Handel's Compagnie. Handel's Compagnie. Compagnie. Would it be French? This feels very French. The whole vibe, this guy... I feel like I've seen him before. Sostrain Grain is a shop. Oh, Sostrain Grain is a shop. Oh, but they are everywhere. Okay. Twel 2012. I would, I would, this feels so, so French. Like, has to be, right? But, uh, 2012, you're thinking? 2016-ish? Hmm. Looking at the phones. The phones look pretty modern. The cameras are on the on a smaller side compared to phones nowadays. So maybe like 20, 2014. Maybe 16. Uh, I think I'll go 2014. Let's see. Okay, 2019. Okay, it's that recent. Crowds gathering to watch the Notre Dame. Oh, Notre Dame. Okay, that, that's what's happening here. I was thinking, what are they all looking at? That, that explains it, yeah. Because no one looks very, like, excited or happy. Hmm, yeah. Maybe we could have, could have inferred it with a bit more time spent. Yeah, that was a, that was a very sad moment. Yeah, crowds gathering to watch the Notre Dame Cathedral ablaze during the 2019 Notre Dame fire. Within a few days, over 846 million had been raised for the cathedral's restoration. Um, okay, let's go next one. Ulker. Okay, this is so Turkish. So, oh, it even says Turkey. Turkey. 
Some are coastal. We have a ship here. Turkey. So we're in Turkey. Well, we can't read anything on this car. The cars feel kind of old. This would be like... This would be like 40s or what are you thinking? Si you're thinking 60s? Oh, uh, uh, 60s, early 70s. Oh, I was thinking way too early, huh? Hey, Mordecai. Late 50s, early 60s. Um, why am I zooming there? Uh, Turkey. So, where would this be? Istanbul? Would this be something else? Could be just Istanbul. I think Istanbul is more likely. But could be, could be other cities too. Halik Bankasi is the national bank. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it doesn't help too much with the with the location. 50s, 60s, it looks like, is the is the consensus. So let's go 63. Something like that. Let's see. Okay, 65. Close enough. A truck driving next to the Golden Horn Estuary in Istanbul. So it was Istanbul, very nice. So we were right about the city, we were very close with the year. Nice guesses. Oh, hello, this is a very cool picture. With like a, a bit of a fisheye lens. Very, a very low plane here. So, we are driving on the left side here. We have some Chinese on the signs. I'm thinking Hong Kong. Roland's also thinking Hong Kong. The apple jeans. Definitely some western influence here. So I think Hong Kong makes a lot of sense. It's the old Hong Kong airport. I'm guessing right, right next to us. Yeah, let's go Hong Kong. Let's go Hong Kong. Quite central it looks like. Well, maybe not super central, but like not too far from the city at least. Not far from Kowloon. Well, yeah, we are, we're right there. And uh, 70s, 80s, 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 you're thinking. It does feel like it's like around that time looking at the cars as well. I would probably go late 70s, like, or maybe early 80s. Let's go 80 on the dot. Oh, 86. Ooh, ooh. Almost an accidental 5k. Hello. Um, but yeah, the year... Six years, six years off when we lose 1600 points. Like the, the rating is so strict here. Plane flying low to approach Hong Kong's old Kai Tak airport. Nice. Well, very good guess there. We have some, we have some Norwegian flags right, right off the bat. Radio, some sort of a radio. So probably Oslo. Gustavsberg. But that's, that's the... That to Gustavsberg is the toilet company, no? This is Sweden. North... Is it actually Sweden? Gotten. Wait, this is Gotten. Wait, what? This is such a bait. This is such a bait. Drottningsgatan. Wait, oh, it does say Drottningsgatan. Wait, Drottningsgatan was like the one of the biggest uh, cities and uh, streets in Stockholm. North of Central Station. Yeah, Drottningsgatan. I've I've walked. I remember we were when I was live streaming in Sweden. I was walking on Drottningsgatan. No, where was wait? So Drottningsgatan. Drottningsgatan. There it was. Did I miss it? You think it's Gothenburg? Is there Drottningsgatan in Gothenburg as well? Where the frick is it? Oh, here. Oh my God, it's right here. Okay, and other Ostra Hamsgatan or something. Yeah, I don't think we'll all find this. I don't know, let's just guess somewhere here. Uh, and what year? 50s? I could see that. Hens? Oh, okay, that's a very big difference. Looking at the photo quality and the people. These caps do feel old. Post-World War II. I have to agree with Jess that these hats... Do feel older than 50s to me. This feels older. I think this is pre-World War II. Mid-war period. I, I would rather go mid-war period here than, than post-war. Let's go something like 30s maybe. 34. 
45, okay. Well, it was not Stockholm after all. Apparently there is a Drottningsgaten in, in Gothenburg. Drottningsgaten, yeah. Well, I've never been to Gothenburg, so that's my excuse. Celebrations on the streets of Gothenburg, Sweden for Norska Vecka, Norwegian Week. Okay, that's a recent one. That's a recent one. So it's Biden visiting Kiev, huh? Um, when was it? Was it this year or last week? Oh, last week. Last uh, last year. Was it? <sighs> the dates are all over the place for me. I think it was last year, probably, as well. I think it was this year. It feels recent, but I know the time passes very quickly, so it might have been last year. It might have been the beginning of this year. This year they met in the US. Like, they, they met, like, last week or something in the US. Okay, let's go last year, then. Yeah, it was last year, nice. President Biden and President Zelensky in Marinsky Palace during Biden's surprise visit to Ukraine during the Russia-Ukraine war. Nice. GG's, GG's. Final score, 43,028 points. Very European locations this time. And a breakdown. So, four, four Europe's and one... Uh, no, Hong Kong. Oh, tightrope. You know I love tightrope. Oh, and it's Sunday today, so it's gonna be very tricky tightrope as well. Gonna be a tricky one. But okay, let's, uh, let's go. Let's see. I will need your help. Before entering politics, J.D. Vance was best known for penning what best-selling memoir? Um, it takes a village? No, shit. He'll, oh, he'll Billy Elliot, right! Ah, oh, now I remember, damn it. My Couch and Me, I think that was the sequel. A test subject for her husband, the wife of William Röntgen, exclaimed, I have seen my death after using which device? Well, X-ray. Because Röntgen. Okay. Oh, I should have known the first one, I'm so annoyed. Home of giant stone statues called the Maui, Rapua Nui is the indigenous name of what island? Easter Island. I knew that one. I knew that one. Replaced for a time by marks and rubles, this loti is now the official currency of which country? Poland. Are these supposed to be difficult? These feel easy to me. In the first one, I just messed up. In the 12 days of Christmas, what birds are given on the third day? Third ge geese? Third, third geese. French hens? French hens? Oh, French hens. Okay. Yeah, I did not know that one. <laughs> Thank you. Phlegmatic typically describes someone who is uh, unemotional. I would have said slow, but may I guess maybe unemotional too. Originally founded in 1837 to make animal harnesses, which fashion label, now known for its high-end handbags, has a horse and carriage in its logo. Uh, Hermes? I don't know. It is, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I, I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Thank you, Rolands, for confirming my suspicions. Today, today serviced by the T, which U.S. city has the national nation's first publicly operated ferry boat in 1630 and the first subway in 1897? Chica Boston. Okay, I almost went to Chicago, but Boston. Yeah, switched to Boston. Made made more sense. What animal has taste buds on its feet, which help in it detect nectar. Uh, butterfly, surely. Why would grizzly bear need taste buds on its feet? <laughs> Makes no sense. Honestly, this one felt like the easiest tightrope we've ever done. If I hadn't, like, messed up the first question, which I'm super annoyed by, we would have had, a, had, a, had a, like, a sw uh, clean sweep. So this one felt very easy. I was expecting something way harder. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, next spin. Ooh, mini crossword? Oh, it's Metazoa. I was hoping for mini crossword. I like that game more. But okay, Metazoa is fun as well. Let's let's go with Metazoa. And let's try to guess that animal, the mystery animal for today. Yeah, let's start with butterfly. That's a good one. Butterfly. Monarch butterfly. And Takes a while. Bilateria, so something symmetrical, huh? Grizzly bear. Let's go bear, yeah. No grizzly bears. Let's go black bear. Lorosiatheria is the is the is the 
next group that we have unlocked discovered hedgehog bat okay let's go bat that's a good one fruit bat mm, thinking no not a fruit bat um armadillo no also no oh, armadillo is eutheria not even laura citheria whoops rainier the, 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 we have brain coral moose let's go moose Oh, grizzly bear is brown bear. Ah, thank you. Taking notes. Oh, pecora. Uh, infra order of even toed hoofed animals. Oh, reindeer with a knee. Oh, my bad. My apologies. Uh, pecora. Okay, let's go reindeer now. No, no reindeer is correctly spelled either. Okay. Okay, let's go giraffe then. Pecora. No, it's not giraffe. Let's go sheep. Caribou is also the name of the reindeer. Wait, is it? Okay, I did not know that. Caribou and reindeer are the same thing. Huh. Let's go with cow, I guess. Mountain goat. No, let's, let's go cow. Cattle. No. Cows are cute, though. Gazelle, ram. Buffalo, maybe. But okay, let's go ram. No, no rams. A gazelle. Oh, Dorcas Gazelle. Very cute. Nice guess by Wissens Digger. GGs. Also known as the Ariel Gazelle is a small and common gazelle. Cool. Very nice. Let's keep spinning and see what we get next. Capital. Okay. Let's do some Capital. Let's start with the Tallinn. No, not in Europe, Southwest, 8,400 8, kilometers. 8,400 kilometers is a lot. Um, smaller, smaller. So maybe some one of the Caribbean islands. Oh, what could it be? Let's go Kings... Uh, which one was Jamaica? Which one was the other one? George, okay, let's go Georgetown. I know there is Kingston and Kingstown. And I never remember which one is Jamaica, which one is one of the small islands. Uh, Kingston is Jamaica. Let's go Kingstown. Oh, I guess they show it. So I can just type. Kingsta Kingstown is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yeah, and Kingston is uh, Jamaica. So let's go Kingstown. Yeah, it is in, in America. Oh, something right above St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, like the memory card and Rembrandt. Ah. Oh. Kingston, like the, like the memory card brand. Memory cards in Jamaica, that's the way to remember. St. George's? St. George's, Gran Grenada. No. Wait, you, you went the wrong way. We need something north. North of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. What is north? I, I do not remember the island layout. Grenada, St. Vincent, St. Lucia? So something. St. Kitts? St. Lucia? St. Lucia, what is St. Lucia's Castries? It is St. Lucia, nice. Let's go. Good teamwork, together we did it in how many guesses? Uh, I like how they don't show it. Very, oh no, it's four. Four, four tries, cool. Okay, next we have Redactyl, okay. Let's do the daily one. Redactyl. Okay, something with a global median 42. So kind of average difficulty. And seven letters. So blank from blank. Blank from blank blank. Blank from blank. Wait, what? What is this? Is a blank blank that... Hmm. Latin. Latin. No. Greek. Also no. Let's try English. No, uh, no, not English. Arabic. Mandarin. No. Okay, it's none of those. Let's stop guessing languages, maybe. Mm, I'm trying to figure out what... We're, so, what this game is, we need to... This is a Wikipedia article with words hidden, and we need to guess words to uncover them and figure out what the article is about. Um, world. 13 worlds in the world. Ooh, 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 some 
quotes apparently during the world war worlds 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 world 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 could it be a city let's try city three cities to the city out of cities city mm. blank is a blank blank that blank as a blank 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 invented is it something that was invented? No. Acts. Acts. Okay, something that acts as something. Chemistry. Surely, surely. Chemical. I didn't see any signs that it is any, anything chemistry related when we scanned the... Oh, wait. We do have some, some subscripts here. Positive, negative. Okay, maybe it is actually chemi chemistry related. Is it actually chemistry? Uh, chemistry. Okay, chemistry is mentioned twice. Binder? No, not binder. Physics. No physics. Substance. Substance. 15 says element. No elements. Substance is act. Wait, wait, wait. Substance is act? So alcohol. No. Well, the three alcohols are mentioned. Alcohol with alcohol. Drugs. 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 Some drug. Tobacco. Tobacco is mentioned four times. Smoking. 16 times. Cocaine. Cocaine. Nice. I was about to guess cocaine before I saw tobacco. Let's go. Good job with 18 guesses. That's really good. That's really, really good. Nice. We got to that cocaine pretty quick. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. Lernal. Okay, let's do Lernal. That's a quick one. Wait, have I still not added it? Oh gosh, I still haven't added it to the list. Let's add it right now while I still remember. Boom. The list is getting longer and longer. What is the population of Portugal? Ooh. Obviously no googling, no looking things up. Portugal was around 10-ish, I think, right? I think it was a little bit less, like 9 million. 9.8. At least 10, you would say. At least 10 people. Okay, very funny, very funny. Uh, let's go 9.8. Or am I... 10.1! Well, as I said, around 10 million. Let's go. Big brains. All right, let's do one more. Connections. That's a good one. That's a good one. Connections. Okay, what are the... So we need to group these words into four groups of four. So we have shed, cream, retreat, about, cottage, login, home, scratch, need, goat, leave, string, and flee, per, contact, withdraw. Okay, scratch, purse, uh, what else? Shed, shed, and leave, flee, no, um, what else do cats do? Wait, so flee, leave, retreat, and withdraw are all, like, uh, escaping, turn tail, yeah. Uh, cottage, shed, home, and what would be the fourth one? What is login? Oh, login, contact, about, and home are all, all like on a website. Pages on a website, yeah. Scratch. Well, I'm not looking at chat. I'm try trying to figure this one out myself. Per scratch. Hmm. Go. What would goat go with? Goat. Goat cheese, cottage cheese, cream cheese. And string cheese. Let's go. And need per shed scratch. Uh, is a uh, thing scratch. What is what is needs? Let's go. Oh, I'm I'm super happy. I figured this one out myself. That rarely happens. <laughs> need. What is needs? Need is when they make biscuits. Ah. That, as they often do. I love cat cat biscuits. Okay, let's do one last one. One last one. Contrial. Okay, let's do Contrial. 
Let's start with Austria. They're grabbing a sofa blanket and clawing it. Ah, oh, okay, that is needing. Normally when they're really happy. Ah, oh, okay, interesting. Good to know. I didn't know that's what that's called needing in, in that context. So Northern Hemisphere, it is in Europe, southwest of Austria, slightly bigger in population. What is slightly bigger than Austria? Is Switzerland a bigger in population? No, it's much warmer. Uh, Portugal, as we just found out, has slightly more than 9 million, right? As we just found out. Easy! Let's go! Let's go, GG's. This was a fun one. This was a fun one. I enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, press that like button, subscribe, and see you in the next video.